be an annulus around the moon, like a donut, a ring around the moon. But we won't see that in Thailand. That could be seen in Burma or China, some other neighboring countries. But in Thailand, we will see a partial solar eclipse where the moon blocks part of the sun. So it's like a circle is taken out of the sun, a big bite. All right, so I heard that have the activities here at the Mahindra University. So what are the activities uh, here? Well, we're going to set up a telescope and project an image of the sun on paper so people can see it. Um, in addition to seeing the partial solar eclipse, you can also see sunspots. And we're going to have a running lecture talking about the sun and also answering general questions about astronomy or space. Uh, so, in your opinion, uh, why uh, solar eclipse at this time is why it's in, 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 uh, interesting? Well, eclipses don't happen very often, and it's always kind of interesting to see the sun, which we think of as constant in our lives, have the shadow of the moon blocking it partially. It's not quite as exciting as a total solar eclipse. There was a total solar eclipse in Thailand in 1995. Some of us were around to view it then. Uh, the next to total solar eclipse in Thailand will be in the year 2613 in the Buddhist calendar. What's that in Western years? Right, so. 60 years from now, it will be in the year 2070. Yeah, in Thailand, right? Yes. So, um, if you really want to see a total solar eclipse, you should probably travel somewhere else, unless you want to wait another 60 years. But as long as we're in Thailand, then we can view these partial eclipses every few years, and it's interesting to see that astronomers can very precisely predict when the shadow of the moon will cross the sun. There are some other interesting phenomena that, for example, underneath a tree, it turns out that there are little holes between the leaves where the sunlight can get through. And these act like pinhole cameras. And you actually see an image of the sun. And during this partial solar eclipse, the sun has the shape of a crescent because the moon is blocking part of it. So you'll see these crescent-shaped images on the ground underneath the tree. That's one fun thing to look for. But you do have to be careful not to look at the solar eclipse with the naked eye. There are special glasses for viewing solar eclipses. They have a thick film, a dark film, that blocks most of the light. You have to be careful that you have a film that is tested to block ultraviolet light. Because ultraviolet light we, is light that we cannot see, radiation that we cannot see, but that can damage our eyes. And the problem is if you have glasses that block visible light, then you think you're looking at the sun safely, but actually if the ultraviolet light is getting through, then it's damaging your eyes. So you have to be sure to use glasses specifically for eclipse viewing that have been tested to block ultraviolet light. Of course, you can look at the eclipse indirectly. For example, as we will do here at Mahidon University with the telescope, putting the image on a piece of paper, then you can safely look at that. So I invite the listener to come here to see the solar eclipse or uh, even uh, see the solar eclipse at home. Yes, you can see it anywhere in Thailand, actually. Um, actually, the moon will block the sun more if you're in northern Thailand. But here in Bangkok, we'll see more than 50%. Um, the time is from about 2 p.m. until 5 p.m. this Friday, January 15th. So the maximum of eclipse is about 3.30 here in Bangkok. Thank you very much. Oh, and let me stress, this okay. is Mahidon University Faculty of Science, which is in Bangkok, not in Salaya. So Rama 6 Road, right across from the Ministry of Science. Right. Would you like to say anything else? Well, in addition to having a telescope and having the, um, the lecturing, and answering questions about astronomy or space. We'll also have an exhibition with some posters about research activities at Mahidon University, solar physics, space physics in general. Thank you. Uh,